Simeon. This is the big day, guys. We are going to the hospital tonight, and we have decided to eat Chipotle for dinner. So, yum. You got that right, yum. I'm really hungry. I'm but Simeon's moving, that means he's hungry, too. So, we are scheduled to go in for induction around 5 36 o'clock this afternoon. It's about 4 o'clock right now, so we've got about an hour and a half to kill. We're gonna go in here, go to Chipotle. We're gonna get some snacks down at Walmart, which is right down from here. And we're told it's a good idea to have snacks, which I think is a brilliant idea because I can just see us starving at about 12 o'clock tonight. So let's um, go get something to eat. Being wide awake. And uh, then go get some snacks, and then we're gonna go to the hospital right now. Chipotle was so good, y'all. No, Chipotle was really good, but it was a little spicier than usually is, but. It's still good. Sure. Let's go to Walmart. Okay, I picked. Let's see what Nathan picked first. Uh huh. Nathan went right to the chocolate and got. Yes, please. Chocolate. <laughs> so that's him. I picked the braided honey wheat pretzels. I love these things. Not too bad of a choice. It does say wheat. <laughs> and then Nathan wanted peanuts. Not a bad choice. Peanuts, almonds, cashews, hazelnuts, and pecans. So, when you're going through life's hardest struggles, pray to Jesus and eat chocolate. Here we go, headed to the hospital, yay! This is so exciting. We're about like five minutes, no, we're about like three minutes from the hospital. <laughs> so we're almost there. Simeon, how's he doing? He is not very active right now. Yeah. But when he moves, he moves. He really does. So it's painful. There's the sign for the hospital. Wow. I, I don't know. It's kind of shocking still. We're not leaving till we have a baby over there. Right. This is, this is it. Like, once we drive up here in Maine General, we're not coming back out without a baby. <laughs> <laughs> It. We got a good spot. Where's your blue bag at, baby? It's in the back. We're not going to get everything out right now. Uh, How close are we? That close. I'm wearing boots and my wife is wearing flip flops. All right. Let's hit the button. Now we're waiting on that little light right up there to turn green. There it is. All right, babe. Yay, look at Cheyenne's feet. 10.05 tonight, and uh, Cheyenne has taken Cervidil to soften the cervix so that she can actually go into labor. She has not dilated at all. All the vitals are perfect. The child is in like 
perfect condition, his heart's beating just right, Cheyenne's vitals are great, her blood pressure's great, everything's fine. So, tonight we sleep, tomorrow we have baby, maybe. That's it. Baby, maybe, baby, baby, we'll see. We were told it could take up to five days. <laughs> but that sounds so like rare. an eternity from now. But you're so... watching this video and you're going to know how long it takes by the end of this video. I feel exhausted, so I'm going to try to get some sleep to try. But I just want this baby to come. Really, I do. We got some visitors this morning. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Nathan. Hey, Mimi. Hi, Anne and Zimia. I had a good night's sleep last night, and um, everything is staying the same. Yeah. <laughs> so, no change, but they're going to start me up on a medication probably within the hour, and we'll see what that does to me. Where are you going, Cheyenne? <laughs> Coffee. And. I guess some drinks and things you can grab. Just don't grab somebody's private uh, lunch. I don't know what's private, that sandwich? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can just see you, Mimi, just taking it. So Cheyenne's about to order lunch. And she's doing really well. She's got some contractions, but not very much pain at all. I'm fixing her slipper right now. And she's going to order lunch. It's almost 12 o'clock. And my mother will be here. She's flying in all the way from the state of Georgia. She's flying in to be with us today. And of course, to see little Simeon. So let me give you all an update on what's going on. So my wife had her Cervidil and they did uh, remove that medication on further analysis, realized she is having some contractions, so they skipped the oral medication that they were going to give her and went right to Pitocin, which is what you see behind me, this contraption here, it's running into her IV. And uh, let me tell you a little bit about her IV experience. So my wife has veins that are not obvious, they're not evident. For me, I've got veins, if you let my hand dangle, you can basically see them through my skin. My wife doesn't have that. Three different ladies tried three different places trying to get an IV in her and could not do it. So they finally called in like their special teams unit. And uh, this lady walks in with an ultrasound contraption. And she goes over to Cheyenne's arm and she's looking around and finds a vein she wants to tap into. And two inches later, she got the IV inserted into her body. So Cheyenne's got an IV running in her arm right now. And she's got Pitocin running into her, trying to help speed up this process. They say it takes a mother weeks, maybe even a month, for her body to prepare itself to have a baby. And so we're trying to cram all of that time frame into about three or four days. Hopefully he comes sooner than that, but um, they have given us a warning of up to five days, so hopefully he comes mm -hmm. tomorrow, but it doesn't look like he's coming today. I mean, that's just what I'm sensing. We'll be in here another night, Probably so. Tomorrow. Probably tomorrow, and uh, we'll see from there. But Cheyenne's been a trooper. She's been awesome. Slept well last night. I slept well last night. I was so tired. Oh my goodness, I don't even know why I was that tired. But I just crashed. I brought a sleeping bag and uh, my own pillow. So really, I had a great setup. I've already taken a shower this morning, so I feel like I'm in a hotel room, except that there's a lot more technology wrapped around me. And medical science, paraphernalia just kind of scattered in the room. Other than that, we're kind of in a hotel room stuck. So, What do you got, Cheyenne? <laughs> <laughs> Still hooked up to the Pitocin and the monitors. So she's got her IV and her monitor and she's taking a little walk. 
<laughs> so, mom just got here, and we got some other guests. Of course, Mimi is still here, and <laughs> Kelly, and Tanya's here, and my mother has arrived. So she brought us a gift basket. Can you imagine? I feel like this guy right here is going to go to sleep with me tonight. What do you think? Oh, that one is so cute. It's so funky. It's so funky. Okay. See, this is what you do when you're having a baby. You just open gifts and take walks in the hall and eat food from the hospital and baby's first Christmas ornament with a photo! Oh, look at this coffee mug. I will not be shaken. Psalm 16.8. That is for shy. <laughs> I love that coffee cup. That is middle awesome. of the night coffee. The Little Book of Prayers. I think we should be praying about right now. She's going to wear it in our family Christmas picture. But she's not going to be able to wear it in the same time as she can wear it. That thing is so unique. Yes, it's adorable. It's so cute. I love it. It's some kind of name brand or something. Arise, you little glancing wings, and sing your infant joy. So different. The other one they had like that. Oh, is it that yeah. precious? I think it'll fit my arm. Is it newborn? <laughs> it is newborn. Hi, my name is Coon. Hi, my name is Coon, and I'm so excited about little Simeon being here today. I'm just jumping for joy, ready to climb up a tree and jump out of it. Wow! Okay. I, I have a feeling that won't be on YouTube. I don't think it will be. <laughs> Like that crazy. They should just do a little blooper reel. They got really pastors in church. Are you all kidding the me? <laughs> wow, that smells good. Well, they really do. You know. Yeah, you can. Oh, not pie. It's called For every candy. dirty diaper, there is a candle. Oh, my goodness. There's a light in the window. The table spread in that splendor. That so good. Or diaper genie. Those work I don't have one. Okay, so out of the middle of nowhere, Cheyenne said, that's a really bad contraction. That's, that's hard. It began to hurt her, and suddenly her water broke. So, unbelievable. Oh. Cheyenne is going to have a baby, and she's going to have it very soon. That's my mother. She's kind of normal in a very abnormal way. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cheyenne is dilated to two centimeters right now, uh, unless she's progressed since the last time the doctor checked her. We're probably going to have a baby very soon, maybe 12 hours or less. Amazing. We're really excited and I uh, could not believe it. Her water broke a little less than 23 hours from the time we got here. Or was it 20 till 4? 20 till 4. We got here a little yeah, bit before 5.30 last night. When your water breaks, they're sort of on time schedule. They have to get that baby out in about 24 hours. All right, so we got great uncle and great aunt. This is Alva, Christy, good friends, great friends of the family. And their daughter, she was in my wife's wedding. Her contractions are up, down, up, down. They're beautifully and perfectly almost orchestrated like a symphony. And this is the baby's heart rate, and he's falling within this perfect range. Let's have a baby. Now I'm ready to get him out. It's 9 o'clock, you know. Let's see if we can have him before midnight, huh, baby?
got his arms out. Hey, buddy. Got some visitors again, Bonnie and Kelly. Wow. That is awesome. Wow, that is amazing. That is where you mean it. Wow. That's where Union is. That's where Union is. That's Union on the main map. That is the coolest bag. We're chasing my friends and family. They came to visit little Simeon, of course. Give everybody a little update. Little Simeon is healthy as a little horse. He's got a little jaundice. No big deal. We're probably going to be in the hospital two more days or something. So, little man has had a little jaundice. He's been under the light and uh, he re responded perfectly to it. And now he is basically far below the level of normal. Uh, treatable jaundice, so he's doing excellent. Cheyenne has fed him and she's just topping him off right now. He is growing and he's learning. And today is actually Monday, November the 12th. He was born Saturday at 2.54 a.m. November the 10th. We are still in the hospital. We've been in the hospital since Thursday night? We came in Thursday night. Boy, it's been a long time. And they're looking to send us home tomorrow, which will be on a Tuesday. So a little extra length of time to stay in a hospital. Nothing that we expected, to be honest. But we've been very happy to stay because of the care that we've received. It's precious. Look at him, he's a peanut. Yes, he is. That actually fits him, huh? Our sister-in-law got this for him and made it for him. She actually put the lettering on the shirt. She got it all ready for him, washed it. So it says, hello world, I'm Simeon. Gonna yawn, buddy? What is it, buddy? Scott in here, just on his little ride back. Just don't kind of hang out with him. Can he get? Can he get him a mascot? So he's gonna give him a mascot. All right. <laughs> All right. Here's the button. Push the button. That's the light. There. Bring him on.
let's go home. Ready to go home? Let's go home. Welcome home, buddy. Hey, buddy. He loves his car seat.